Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mikey Bustos bringing you another video. I wanted to create this video because it's uh, something that I know uh, a lot of people out there um, kind of struggle with, some more than others, um, but uh, it's considered the most common fear, um, you know, of all fears. And that, of course, is stage fright, you know, public speaking or performing or whatever, just being the subject of multiple eyes you know looking at you now I am a performer I have performed for you know thousands and thousands of people and even on YouTube it's for millions right so everybody busy here working um, but uh, I can say that I did not always have no stage fright um, and in fact I for most of my life, I was uh, very much so an introverted, shy person. Um, and I kind of was able to break out of that and to kind of shake off stage fright um, over time, you know, with experience. So what is the secret to getting rid of stage fright? Well, honestly, to tell you the truth, the secret to get rid of stage fright is to simply keep going out there on stage. <laughs> To, there's no other way like you just have to go up on stage face your fear you know do it and eventually over time the fear goes away you start to get so comfortable up there um, now for me uh, I try to go uh, on stage uh, as frequently as possible because if I don't let's say I go a month without being on stage uh, you know in front of a live audience um, my stage fright which naturally is in me, starts to come back. Um, so uh, what do you do? What I recommend to all of you guys is something that really helped me. Um, and that, of course, is karaoke. Um, for those of you guys who have stage fright, um, and I'm talking about performing now, mostly, um, go to karaoke. Why karaoke? Well, because pff, you can pretty much go any night. You know, most cities have karaoke on a nightly basis. Um, in, you know, in different parts of the city. Um, and uh, another thing too is, uh, the audience is usually great. They're usually drunk. <laughs> um, so no one really cares. Um, you know, not everybody is a Pavarotti or, you know, like a Christina Aguilera. Um, and so it's all really just for fun, you know. So that's another thing. The environment isn't so, um, isn't so intimidating. Um, the next thing is, if you're really afraid of eyes making contact with eyes looking at you, you can simply look at the screen. You know, you don't, you can, you can direct the energy towards the screen, you know, as opposed to directing your energy out into the audience, which is eventually what you'd like to get to if you want to be a performer, you know, performing outwards as opposed to a screen. Um, but, you know, and mistakes are okay, all of that, and, you know, Find your karaoke bar with the best sound, etc. And uh, I guarantee eventually you'll start to get comfortable performing on stage um, to the point where you're able to look up at your audience, you know. And in the end, they're all cheering for you anyways. Um, so that's what I recommend for those of you guys who have stage fright um, with, when performing. Uh, now the thing about stage fright is, for me, uh, I actually get more nervous when it's a small audience. Um, you know, I've performed for a crowd of 18,000 people opening for Christina Aguilera, um, and that was massive. But the thing was, I wasn't nervous. <laughs> for audiences that big, the lights are usually on you, so you don't see anything. You just see all this brightness, um, and you hardly see individual faces. You hear the crowd, you know, but you don't see them, you know, and it's kind of like you're singing in a church, you know, uh, in an empty church. You hear yourself, you hear an audience somewhere, um, but your stage is just so big and like, you know what I mean? It's just, it's more like performing to nothingness, really. Um, whereas if it's a small place, you know, like say one time I was uh, in Manila performing for uh, Universal Philippines in a boardroom of like 10 people in business suits going like this at their desk looking at me like this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. while I'm singing <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna be nervous for something like that um, 
But uh, the thing about nerves is you don't want to completely get rid of them uh, because nerves are actually good. Um, why? Because especially when I'm starting a show, I try to get myself nervous. I, I purposely try to get you know, the jitters, um, you know, I'll look, I'll peek out at the audience or I'll run through, you know, my performance through my head. And what that does is it gets my blood flowing. It gets the flight and fight response going. Um, and it gives me the energy I need to go out there and rah, start the show with a rah. Oh, what the body. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so some nerves is good. Um, but uh, I remember when I first started performing in front of an audience, my flight and fight response and nerves were so bad that it turned my voice like this and I couldn't perform. And you know what I mean? <laughs> because I was so nervous. And then afterwards, I would have this huge stomach ache, like someone punched me in my stomach. Too funny. Um, anyway, so these are my words and advice and sharings on stage fright. Um, try the karaoke thing to get rid of stage fright and um, you know good luck out there shine and show your talents because uh, that's what they're there for to share your gifts and make your mark in the world hope this video helps you guys love ya bye